So we're going to have a look at uh, four different hot water models in Strata. So first of all, um, let's consider individual apartments that might have their own gas or electric hot water system. Now, um, if you've got an individual uh, hot water system and you're on a ground floor of an apartment building or you have a courtyard, you could consider installing an electric heat pump. If, for example, you have an electric hot water system underneath your sink in your apartment, then a heat pump would not be uh, the right technology for you to look at. That's because heat pumps expel cold air and the cold air needs to escape somewhere. So they need to be in a well ventilated area. Um, if you're you know, on the second or third floor and you've got your own uh, electric hot water tank today, you could get some efficiency by moving to an instantaneous gas, for example, a Rinai instantaneous uh, gas system um, attached to the wall of your unit. But of course, you need to have gas connected to your apartment building to have that option. Um, the noise from a heat pump is, is similar to an air conditioning system. Um, so that's one other thing that we have to consider when we're in communal living in apartment blocks or in a strata environment. Next, we're going to look at a centralised gas hot water system, which has user pays billing. Now, we're looking at this as a reference model, as something that uh, a number of apartment buildings have today. And I'll just walk you through um, this model so that you get a feel for how it operates. Now, uh, in the picture, we can see a gas hot water plant. Sometimes it's in the basement. Sometimes it's on the roof of the building. Sometimes it's uh, outside the building. Um, with a gas connection coming in, uh, and cold water coming in, you'll have a separate gas meter um, for that hot water plant and um, a recirculation loop uh, going around the building. Now, there is a hot water meter for each individual apartment in this particular model. And the hot water meter measures in litres the amount of hot water that passes through that hot water meter to enter into the apartment. Now, what, there, what few people realize is that there's a company called Gemina. Gemina is a, in New South Wales, is a state sanctioned monopoly on gas distribution and meter reading. Gemina, the company, is 60% owned by the state grid of China and 40% owned by Singapore Power. Now, this monopoly um, sets what's called a conversion rate for your individual apartment block. All the units in that particular apartment block are subject to the same conversion rate. And the way they uh, work out how much gas was consumed is by measuring how much hot water passes through the hot water meters into the apartments and using the conversion factor as a formula to work out how much gas would have been consumed to heat that water. So in a building like this, keep in mind that it, even though you've got a user pays billing model, the way that the amount of gas is estimated to come up with what goes on your individual apartment bills is subject to a formula. It's not actually based on the real amount of gas that was consumed to heat that hot water in your apartment block. It's just a rough estimation model. So the way that Gemina works in this distribution network is that they are responsible for doing meter readings and then each individual apartment owner in a building such as this can choose their own hot water gas supplier that could be an Origin, an AGL, an Energy Australia, or a number of smaller competitive suppliers. And uh, Gemina sends the data from the meter reads 
to your chosen energy retailer who then bills you and provides you with customer service around uh, your gas hot water bill. So um, this is a model that is quite common where you have a centralized gas hot water system in an apartment building. Now we're going to look at how an apartment building that might have been on that uh, previous model could switch to a centralized heat pump hot water model and still maintain user pays billing. So um, in this diagram, you can see now that the common area electricity meter is feeding the heat pump hot water plant at the bottom. Keep in mind, um, uh, you may actually install a submeter on the heat pump system in order to get an accurate amount of electricity from the common area meter, which is used for the purposes of heating hot water. And that submeter can be used to create an equitable model for owner investors and owner occupiers. We'll come back to how that can work a little bit later. Now, in this particular um, model, you've got something called a billing service provider, which is not Gemina. It might be a third party company, such as say Wing Connect, uh, that is responsible for doing all the meter reads for all the individual apartments on their hot water meters. Uh, in an apartment block that's under this centralized heat pump hot water model, um, you would not have a choice to uh, go out to market and, uh, and switch between Origin and AGL or AGL and Energy Australia um, for your gas and hot water bill. You would be all in a group buying situation uh, with one billing service provider, but the owners corporation can negotiate with that billing service provider uh, to set the rate for billing residents for the use of hot water in the apartment complex. Um, you may have also, um, when moving to this model, upgrade old hot water meters to new hot water meters, which might have remote reading capability. And uh, the bills are sent to each individual apartment, uh, whether that's a tenant or an owner occupier by the billing service provider. And uh, the billing service provider can also um, pay back to the owner's corporation uh, the cost of the electricity for the heat pump, such that you've got a model um, that doesn't disadvantage owner investors. So this is a model um, that can be achieved uh, inside an apartment complex, and you're getting the benefit of a cheaper fuel source uh, being using ambient air temperature to heat the water with some electricity and something that's already um, much less carbon intensive for the building. Um, now we're switching to another model, heat pump model for a centralized hot water service in an apartment complex. And in this model, the hot water is paid through strata levies um, there aren't any individual hot water bills issued to the individual owner occupiers or tenants inside the complex. Now, under a heat pump, pump model such as this, an owner investor would actually negotiate a slightly higher rent with their tenant on the basis that um, the rent is paying for uh, the utility cost of uh, hot water. Uh, similar to the previous model, you've still got the electricity submeter on the um, heat pump hot water plant. And an extra benefit of this model is that you cut out all the meter reading costs altogether. So this would become attractive in a much smaller strata building. Um, a much larger uh, apartment complex, such as the one we saw on the front page, Meriton Arise at Lane Cove, would not want this model but it would work for um, a smaller apartment building, a white brick or a red brick walk up 
and we'll look at a case study around that later as well. Um, so basically under this model, um, uh, you've achieved an uh, efficient fuel source for heating the hot water in the building. Um, you've also eradicated um, meter reading fees and you also ha have a possibility of disconnecting uh, entirely from the gas network if there are no gas cooktops or gas bayonets for space heating inside any of the apartments.